Hello, my friends. Let's practice our English listening skills with the same or different game. To play this game, I want you to listen to two questions. Then decide, do these questions have the same meaning or different meanings? Let's begin. Listen. How long have you been in Bozeman? How long have you been in Bozeman? How long will you be in Bozeman? How long will you be in Bozeman? What do you think, my friends? Same or different? Here are the two questions that I said. And these two questions are different. Both questions use how long, but the verb time, the verb tenses are different. In the first question, you see, have you been? Have you been is an example of the present perfect. One of the ways that we use the present perfect is for events that started in the past and are continuing to the present. How long will you be in Bozeman is an example of the simple future. Here we are talking about events that are happening in the future. Let's practice the pronunciation. How long have you been in Bozeman? You could also say, how long have you been in Bozeman? Been or been are both pronunciations of this word. How long will you be in Bozeman? How long will you be in Bozeman? Now we need to listen to the fast English pronunciation. When you talk to your American friends, they will probably use fast English. So I want you to hear it. How long have you been in Bozeman? It's common for have you been to be together. Have you been? Have you been? Next, how long will you be in Bozeman? Again, will you be is commonly together. Will you be? Will you be? So one more time, how long have you been in Bozeman? And how long will you be in Bozeman? Now let's talk about the meaning of these two questions. In the first question, here is now, and here is your arrival in Bozeman. And the question is asking about your time between the arrival and now. So this is mostly the past until this moment. As for the other question, this question is common when you first arrive in a place usually. And now, here's now, the current time. Your arrival is usually close to now. And when someone asks you how long will you be in Bozeman, their meaning is the time between your arrival and your departure or when you leave Bozeman. So how much time is between those two dates. Let's look at common answers. If someone says, how long have you been in Bozeman? You can answer with, I've been here for five days, two months, or 10 years. It depends on when you arrived until now. You can use, I've been. I've is the contraction for I have. 
So you can say, I have been here or I've been here. For the next question, you want to think about the time between your arrival and your future departure, the time you will leave Bozeman. So you can say, I'll be here for three weeks, four months, or one year. So remember, my friends, how long have you been in Bozeman means the time already spent here, this time from the past until now. And how long will you be in Bozeman is your total planned time here. Okay, my friends, so how long have you been in Bozeman? And how long will you be in Bozeman? Remember, my friends, practice, practice, and never give up.